My name is. My name. <laughs> like I wanted to sound epic. My. My name. <laughs> all right, just freaking start it, and I'll do one. My name is Ryan Law, and my entire life, all I've ever wanted was to be a reality TV star. Reality. But after being rejected from every single show on the air, I created my own reality show Television. to be judged by a panel of really qualified experts. Is this guy for real? Shut up. So will I complete the challenge and win the prize, or will I fail and face the punishment? Your challenge is to make a lifelong friend out of a complete stranger. Make a lifelong friend out of a complete stranger. That's next level. Ew. This week's panel. Is that really that heavy? Yeah, probably. Friends are everywhere. If you look closely, there's two friends right there. Most likely best friends. But if you look even closer, you'll also notice that no one gives a shit because they're not famous. Which is why I needed to find someone really friggin' famous like me. Ryan Reynolds. Yep. Celine Dion. Yep. Peter yeah. North. Wait a second. Me and my stepdad used to marathon Peter North vids. Hal Johnson. Playing a little basketball with friends after a long work week really helps relieve stress. Look at those quadriceps. <gasps> I need him. So I hit the streets to track down Hal Mother F. and Johnson. We're looking for this man. You want to bite the police? No, I, I just want him to be my friend. Oh, no, it's kind of strange, you know? He's, uh, he was on TV? Yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Well, you suspect of uh, foul play? Oh, no, no. But no one had seen H.J. in ages. Is either the Reading Rainbow or the... No, this shouldn't be Fit Guy. This is a reading rainbow. What the hell is that thing? But since Hal Johnson was ghost like Swayze, guys, ghost like Swayze. I decided to just go to every house in the city registered to H. Johnson. Mr. Johnson? There was a Heather Johnson who used to live here. We're looking for Hal Johnson. I don't know Hal Johnson. So who's? Who's Hal Johnson? What is this? Who are you? Mr. Johnson? Hal hey, Johnson, Dad. I don't know that. Did you know Hal Johnson? No, uh, my name is oh, Carlos, name yeah, is Paul, and I'm His name is Paul. So that's Paul? Yeah. Are you sure it's not Hal and it's like a language barrier? You say Paul, I say Hal? I was fed up to the tits with not finding Hal, so I contacted a man who runs a spying company out of his basement. We found guys uh, that are married cheating with uh, other guys. That's the man that we're looking for. This is what we think he looks like now. Any information you give us is going to be helpful. You know, strip clubs would be a good place to start. All right. If you see a girl walking funny, that's a sign that he's probably close by. I would like to say he's in like an underground boxing league, so if you know of any fight clubs in the city, that definitely take a look there. I guarantee you, you won't find him at an ED clinic. But Matt insisted on using his tried and tested method. DNA can be lifted from the inside and the outside of a condom. Oh, okay. Well. I doubt you'll find any condoms in his garbage because he probably raw dogs it. But if you find like a magnum with like a blown out tip, that's for sure him. Perfect. And hopefully Matt can find enough condoms to track him down. And when I was peeing beside you the other day, I found out my dick's bigger. Not by much. I didn't see yours. And the private investigator worked. And because I had a TV show, Hal Johnson agreed to meet with me. Can't believe it, Mr. Johnson. Hey, how you doing? Hey, 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 hey. There I was, face to face with 90s fitness star Hal Johnson, about to make him my best friend for life. A couple guys hanging out for life. Do you normally wear a tracksuit uh, when it's uh, well, I was 80 just... degrees? <laughs> no, no, I, 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 this is a tracksuit? It is a tracksuit, uh, yeah, no, no question. And even though he was jealous of my suit, we busted into an epic best friend montage. Did you ever just web search yourself on the internet just no. to see what's up? No, never. I do. Oh, do you yourself all no, the time? No, uh, you. Oh, it's just <laughs> once a day. You sure you don't want to show me how to do it? I just did, like from behind? No, no, no. Okay. We can make it a soccer ball, I mean, that's uh... And I'd written a bunch of body break ideas for the two of us to do together. So the first one, we're like two best friend cops. You're sort of like Mel Gibson and I'm like Danny Glover. No. And we're just like fighting crime and... No, um, no, no, that's not gonna happen. 
Because food's important, right? right absolutely. So right, the two of right. us just uh -huh. go overseas, start a restaurant, no cameras, right. and just sort of live, you know what I mean? We work hard, we play no, hard. No, we didn't do that. Um, we're riding a double bike, uh, but you're riding on the handlebars and I'm on the front one. Why, because would, why would I do that? The two of us have a sleepover and then we have a pillow fight to work off all the junk food we just ate while we were watching scary movies. Yeah, I wouldn't do that, no. So did you say you had to uh, had to go? I'll tell you what. I will think of more ideas. So Great. I can get back to you. Great. And uh, you so could, if I think of one more, I can get back to you. Don't use the phone. Actually, just use uh, use uh, Facebook. I'll just I'll just come here and <laughs> yeah. Well, because we won't be here anymore. You might though. So no, no, I'll just we come here. I, I guarantee. Idea. But there's a chance. So oh, nope. I'm going to take that chance okay. because that's what I will do for okay. our friendship. I can't wait okay. to pitch you some more ideas because you're going to love them. Good. So. Well, until next time, keep fit and have fun. Okay. Keep fit and have fun. Okay. You should have fun. Okay. So we have to Is this guy for real? Like, what's he doing banging on people's doors? I'm glad you didn't knock on my door, because I'd have thrown something through the glass. You well, know. if you were storing Hal Johnson there, I might have had you, because that's the length that I was willing to go yeah. to find his you. attitude. I mean, I think you're, if you really want something, you go after it. He eh? didn't even know what he wanted when he set out. No, I just didn't know he was such a jerk. No, we wouldn't do that. And, you know, getting pushed away, it's really hard. And I'm the judge here. So if I say you're obnoxious, you're obnoxious. <laughs> And ever since I last saw him, Hal Johnson had been totally ignoring all my calls and texts. I just think that in Western culture, if someone calls you, it's polite to call them back. He probably just tossed his burner. What, and that's his only burner? He's got wives, you got the fuzz, you, you, gotta, you gotta toss them. Yeah, I guess you gotta toss your burner. My heart was officially broken, so I knew that I needed professional help. I basically had the perfect guy and I screwed it up because I'm an idiot. You don't want to become that stalker. You I have thinking, to let this relationship. What if, like, out. I send him one of my fingers every week, <laughs> no. and then if he doesn't want to be friends with me every week, he gets a new finger? No, I don't think that's gonna work. You're probably right. He probably gets fingers from everyone. What have you done wrong, or what? I yeah. showed up in this stupid Valley Village tracksuit that I thought he was gonna love, and he hated it. Do you normally wear a tracksuit? So if you want someone that's ripped and has a perfect body, <clears throat> then you should be, you know, trying Guilty. to work towards perhaps getting a haircut, like this hair's a bit ratty. What's that, what? Like, I mean, it looks like you haven't brushed it in weeks. Okay, don't throw stones if you live in a glass house. This hair looks amazing. Okay. Okay, I'm, I can I'm guarantee just... you that the hair wasn't the issue. Okay, so did he ever comment on your appearance and, you he know? He hated the suit. And you did. How can I rub it in his face after I'm doing good? Well, you can find a great boyfriend and perhaps maybe one day you'll all be Friend, I'm not gay, I'm just looking for a friend, but. But at this point, I was willing to try anything. So on Shannon's recommendation, I set out to find a new man and rub it in Hal's stupid face. And what better place to find men than boys town? You can find a great boyfriend. Say you always on tour. Where you at, homo? You say you had a hit record. No, I heard that, boy. He say the radio love him. They don't play that, boy. I'm making it kids look, look, look. What's your name? First of all, my name's Ryan Long. Now, who's your ex? His name's Hal John. And from what I can remember, I had had a really fun night. And now that I was over famous jerks like Hal, I decided to start a free taxi service to attract some everyday normal nobodies. So are you interested in a free cab? One time only free cab service anywhere in the city? Free cab ride? Just waiting for the family, thanks. Oh, you got a family, eh? Yep. But eventually I found people cheap enough to get in the stranger's van. All right, I could use a lift. I wonder what they see in town. Yeah, I would love that. This van is weird. Take cabs often? Uh, well, yeah, when I'm intoxicated. I got a ride, so yeah, I'll, I'll be home in about an hour or so. I'm going to a wedding, some open bar, so I'm gonna do work on that. 9-11 is, is part of this phony war against terror. How much drinks you could you slam? I don't know, until my belly's full. <laughs> Sick. <laughs> you want to ever hang out, just chillax, listen to some Biggie, we could do that. Just sort of, you know, just kick it, the two men. We cannot and say we did. 
my mom and father love, live in Cremor, so it's you always get tuned at the beer festival there in Cremor. Oh, nice. Uh, about a, an hour, an hour and a half. I mean, the world, you know, as the Bible tells it, is run by Satan. Do you ever like funnel up here? Yeah, in school. Have you ever like shotgun beers? Yeah, yeah. Sick. It's probably even more ridiculous to say that I don't believe in any conspiracy than to say everything is a conspiracy. Do you drink beer at all? <laughs> Occasional, yes. Nice. Beer, like beer a bunch. Pong. Yeah. What are they, you've done beer pong? Beer pong, football. Yeah, oh, nice. Sick. Yeah. <laughs> We're running out of options, and I don't know. I don't know what the options are. We've we've painted well, ourselves. I don't definitely know what the options are. Well, you know, as a young person, you need to be very concerned about your future. I'm hoping the reality thing will kick off, but I don't know. Really, I don't. But it was time to close the deal. Yeah, here's yeah, fine. Yeah. Boom. Yeah. Hey, uh, do you, if you want to get wings or beer or anything like that right now? Uh, no, I'm stripped for cash, so. Do you want to give me your number or anything? Uh, no, it's, that's cool. Sorry, bud. All right, later, Michelle. You staying there? <laughs> Thanks for the ride, man. Are you sure? Positive. All right. I wish I had more time to go out and hang out with him. And the only potential friend left was a cheapskate who wanted me to drive him an hour away. Maybe call your wife back. Well, I've already called her. Free cab. You really do look pretty far. Oh, we are out in the woods. We're in the Pine Valley. But it turns out Dave was actually the perfect mix of the three men that just used me. He liked drinking. Drinking some wine. He was a nasty rapper. The Cosmic Miracle Flood. And he had the inside scoop on 9-11. 9-11 is not necessarily an in inside job, but it was the, the inside was implicit. Ah! We're boogie woogie. And Dave even suggested that we stop for some munchies. Do you have any cash? No. But apparently, something was wrecking Dave's appetite. A company like Nike can sell a pair of running shoes for $300. Think of the nine-year-old girl who's working in the factory getting maybe 12 cents a day. What about her allowance? What? From who? Parents? Her parents are lucky if they have a job. Dude, these... We live in a fantasy world. We live in Walt Disney World. Boom! Oh, wow. It was worth the wait. But if we were going to spend the rest of our lives together, I needed to make a move quick. Thanks so much. Is that the place there? Or? Yeah, this is it. You want to come check it out? You mean it? Yeah, come on. Dave's mom's crib was totally pimped. Oh, here we are. Woo! Nice. And it was the perfect spot for a best friend montage. Last one, there's Rodney. <laughs> Dude, we should build like a fort and stuff. Sword fight. Oh. Hey, Dave, I wish for. I already got it. This calls the fairies out. So this must call out Al Johnson. One for you. Ah. One for me. Have you heard about the haunted mill of the Pine River? I'm not trip. going through there. No, 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 no. Am I over there? Yeah, yeah. Oh, fuck me. Ah! But as me and Dave got crunked off his homemade wine, things took a dangerous turn. A sip of the wine, wine, my friend. <laughs> sip of the wine. And he wanted me to follow him across a ledge that had a 40-foot drop. If I'm not drinking the white wine. Oh, my God. Oh, no, 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 no. He's grabbing me. Call, call, no, let go. This is a stupid idea. <laughs> and even though I was too crunked, I didn't want Dave to think I was a pussy. Yo, dude, I'll need a hand over here. But if Dave died, I would definitely fail the challenge. Yeah, no, right there. Yeah, yeah, that's it. So because I'm a brave hero, I went back onto that ledge and saved that drunken bastard from a horrific death. And there was only one way for him to repay the debt that he owed me. A body break with Ryan Long and Dave. This is a good way to work off all that junk food we ate. Body, body break. break. Freeze, hey, mister, this is a body break. Keep fit and have fun. Showering's a really important part of a good workout. Body break. Uh, uh, I'm not religious, Dave, but if I was, this would be heaven. Heaven. I'm in heaven. Heaven. 
and I'm floating in a most peculiar way. You're twice the man Hal Johnson ever was. I take that back as you're three times the man Hal Johnson ever was. Not the Hal Johnson. Body brand. Someone the one that I used to know. There's something about those jock guys that like, I thought that I wanted that, you know, to hang with that dude, but it's like, it's just not for me, you know? No, there's a lot of emptiness there. There's a lot of compensation, overcompensation for things. And... See, I want to give you something. Power balance bracelet, which means it's a friendship bracelet. Yeah. But it also means you'll never fall over. Awesome. There's a hologram inside of it. That shows what? I mean, it, like, uh, keeps you balanced. Not only was it a cab ride, but it's a bud for life. And when Dave said those words, I almost creamed in the pants that he lent me. And because the entire crew was crunked, I insisted that we stayed the night. It's kind of funny how things work out. I started this journey to find a friend for a reality show, but never in my wildest dreams did I think that I'd meet the coolest bros of all time. Grateful Dave, if I was gay, I would totally suck your dick. Was Ryan's friendship with Dave enough to impress the panel? This week's expert panel consists of a leadership counselor, whatever that is, a motivational speaker, and this guy. All right, we can bring in the contestant. Who would decide whether or not I won that tubular spa gift certificate. Over the break, you have each watched a one minute video of Ryan's performance. Starting with you, Anna, how do you think Ryan did? You need to check if you've been on medication or something. Because, come on, some of the things are just weird. I appreciate your entrepreneurial spirit. You made Dave happy. Uh, not sure Hal was very happy. I'm not sure. I couldn't give less of a fuck what Hal's doing right now. What yeah. the? Did you? Yeah. What I really am impressed with is your leadership. I yeah. want to agree with you, Bonnie, that I was a good leader. Oh right. my goodness. And what was, what's He's the... obnoxious on top of that, too. You know, you did some stuff that you weren't comfortable with. You have to put and yourself out there. Yeah, you put yourself out there, exactly. That's, again, leadership, courage. Thank and you agree put again yourself out, I'm a good out there. So that's... I'm glad you didn't knock on my door, because I'd have thrown something through the glass. You well, know. if you were storing Hal Johnson there, I might have had Your attitude sucks. <laughs> Just make sure that you stay in touch with Dave for a long time. He actually left his uh, chair in my van. Okay. So he's already contacted me on Facebook about getting that, so we're already going well, to arrange that pickup and probably it. hang out. Yeah, that was hopefully that you guys stay friends for... I know what you're thinking that like, you know, hippies can be annoying like because the college ones and stuff like that usually are. But Grateful Dave was like really cool and he like no, wasn't like the annoying like hacky sack college I think guys. I like you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You were getting on my nerves there a little bit. You're a good looking guy. You're a good Thank looking you. white dude. That I works. personally, I don't see people as like, you know, age, gender, or race. To me, you all look like three 20 year old white guys, so. Well, just, thank, thank you. Did he? Ryan, do you have any final thoughts? No, I just appreciate the challenge and I was glad I was able to murk it for you. Murk it? Murk it? What's that mean? Can you use regular language? So on the count of three, each of you will hold up either a pass or a fail, determining Ryan's fate. One. Two. Three. I'm thinking. It's a pass. Mm. Thank you very much. Congratulations, Ryan. Thank you very much. Do I want to do this? And after murking the challenge, it was spa time. Spa, there it is. So what had you change yeah. your opinion at the end? I thought for sure you were going to fail him. Well, I had to listen to the two of you, you know. Yeah. And you brought out certain points that I was just trying to overlook. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? The fact that he's a leader. I like that you spoke about the fact that he should keep in touch. I was certainly going to fail him. Yeah. I was going to fail him for having the audacity to knock on people's doors. So you know what I loved? Like, you were so hard on him and he didn't lose his cool. 
No, he, he was stood up right there back and he came me. right back at you, gave you everything that you gave he him. He came right back at me. Yeah. He believed in his cause right. and he was not going to be put down. Right.